Financial Accounting. We're looking at the Statement of Cash Flow and in particular the Investing section. And one of the assets that always seems to be changing in the Investing section is Plant Assets and its Shadow Account Accumulated Depreciation. So what we're going to look at is how much cash comes in to a business and how much cash goes out from a business when we analyze our property, plant, and equipment accounts. And those are our non-current asset accounts, aren't they? So, in exercise 9, we're given the following information. It says that our plant assets had a beginning balance of 130000 was increased because we bought some more plant assets, buildings, equipment, etc., for 67200 and we disposed of something that had an original cost of $46,000. So that gave us our ending balance. Also, it tells me that the accumulated depreciation account started the year with $69,000. We made a depreciation expense entry. Remember the debt entry, debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation for $20,400. Now, where does this number show up on the cash flow statement? Did you say it shows up in the operating section as an add back to net income? You're right. So that's already up there on our statement of cash flows under operations. It also tells me that this asset that I disposed of had accumulated depreciation of $29,400 to give me an ending balance of $60,000 in accumulated depreciation. Now the question here is, uh, in the investing section of the cash flow statement, how much cash will I disclose from plant assets? Well, the first thing I know is if I buy plant assets, does that mean that uh, I spent some money? Probably. So when I buy, this is going to show up as a cash outflow of 67200 So however much you bought in plant assets, cash outflow for its cost. But when I look at when I dispose, it's not that simple. I just can't pluck a number out of the plant asset account. What I have to do is reconstruct the sale entry. Now, if I sell the plant asset, that means I'm going to credit plant assets when I sold it for $46,000. Likewise, I would be debiting accumulated depreciation for $29,400 when I sold it. So that's where these two numbers came from in this entry. Now what I really want to know is how much cash did I get when I sold this asset? Well, I cruised back to the income statement and realized that I had a gain that was disclosed on the income statement from this sale of $8,800. So I had credited gain for $8,800. Oh my, do you remember where we disclosed this gain on the statement of cash flows? Yes, up there in operations. And since it's a gain that didn't put money into my pocket, I would, what? subtract it, wouldn't I, from operations. But what I really want to know is, is what am I going to show as a cash inflow in investing? Well, if I add up my credits, subtract the debit that I know, I can see that the cash sales price for this asset, plant asset that I sold was $25,400. And this is the number that I will show as a cash inflow in the investing section. So notice I said that in the uh, operating section that I am showing the gain. So that shows up in the operating section. The depreciation shows up in the operating section, doesn't it? But when I'm getting down to the investing section, notice I'm going to show that the cash coming in or the cash going out, excuse me, because that's the cash inflow, because I bought is $67,200, and the cash coming in comes from the reconstruction of the sale entry. The cash coming in is $25,400. So these are what shows up in the investing section.
because that's the cash in and the cash out.